So today is the day where I finally make it down to San Lorenzo. Now this is a club I've been watching for years on YouTube because they're famous for the brilliant and colorful atmospheres that they create. So join me in this video as we take a look with our own eyes about what makes this club so famous for having such brilliant atmospheres. So it's another boiling hot day here in Buenos Aires and today I'm finally gonna make it to San Lorenzo. And I say finally, I've only actually been here like just over a week, but since I put up those two videos from Hurricane, it's been constant messages from San Lorenzo fans saying, if you wanna see what a real party's like in a stadium, then you have to go to our ground and all that kind of stuff. So today I'm finally making it there. And the reason I've been watching San Lorenzo videos for so long is the fact that their fans, their hinchada, is known for being loud, is known for being one of the most boisterous in the country. And that's why I'm buzzing to see them in action today. Now I won't be with these fans as such because like the last video, if you watch that one, there are certain clubs in Argentina where you can't buy a ticket in La Popular section which is essentially where the local members of the club goes. So essentially what you're limited to as an invitado, which is essentially uh, you know, an invited one that maybe translates to, um, is essentially certain areas of the ground, which is where I'll be going today, which is, I think it's, if the main ground, if the main stands here, I'll be about here in the ground. So I'll still get good views off the fans themselves and I'll still get a good feel of the atmosphere. So Sweet just arrived here outside the Pedro Birigan. Uh, I mean you can see just the size of the stadium. They actually just recently painted it as well for this game. So yeah we're just going to get on inside there buzzing for this. Been waiting to come to this ground for as long as I can remember so let's get inside. water like because it is boiling it's like 36 degrees and as you can see apart from that one bit of cover back there this ground doesn't have any so yeah we're gonna enjoy this game hopefully sun goes down after a while i don't think it's meant to really until about seven o'clock and this game starts at five so i'm gonna suffer through it but i mean look at this grind i have to travel a bit to get here but a lot of action going on already. I've got the boys here, a massive banner up here behind me. And also you can hear that the previa started down there. So usually they, they do the previa down there, the band arrives, and the noise you can already hear from down there is unreal. I can't wait to see them when they, all they arrive into the stand itself. It's gonna be something else. fellow down there who's got an umbrella and I feel like he's got the right idea because if this game's gonna obviously be 90 minutes sunburn is coming my way but like I said I already said before we'll have to survive it I think this is a ground as well where they actually spray the fans uh, with water when it gets too warm so next time I come to a ground like this bring an umbrella that's the thing I've learned from today so the, just giving a shout out to the, the Pope for being a, a fan of <laughs> Socio, so Pope Francisco, fair play, being a San Lorenzo fan for this long, fair play mate. As you can see just over there the band is starting to filter in, the noise is starting to come into the ground itself. See as well some people just hiding in the shade there, they're the lovely ones in that stand, but that's him that's here. That's him that's here going in to get ready to come out for the match. But yeah, the band's starting to come in now, the atmosphere is starting to grow. Seeing as my own eyes is brilliant. Like I said, I've been watching these videos of this ground on YouTube for years and it's just mad actually being here so Honestly, can't wait to see it start. And I can see some big flags already coming in, so let's see it.
So it's the morning after now of the game. Now I didn't get a chance to do much outside of the ground or inside the ground as soon as the game finished, as in give my thoughts. That's because the transport links aren't the best to that area, so it was very much get out as soon as possible and get back in to the city because you didn't want to get stuck there. But I thought I couldn't leave this video without giving my thoughts on that atmosphere yesterday. Now I know this wasn't San Lorenzo at its most fullest in terms of the amount of people that were at the ground. I know that stand can be absolutely packed, but the ones that were there, the noise they made throughout the whole game, and don't forget it was 36 degrees Celsius, don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was 36 degrees Celsius throughout the whole game. I think the sun only went down properly at probably about 90 minutes literally, which is you know ironic when you've just been you know, basking in the sun for so long while watching the game. And you know, things like I've never seen before in my life, you know, firefighters standing at the side of the stand, spraying people with water to make sure they're cool. The fans obviously knowing this is gonna happen, shouting, uh, throw, you know, uh, how does that translate? To, you know, throw water over us, uh, to like spray water over us. And it's just, <laughs> it just made for an unreal atmosphere. I mean. Like there was one point where the the firefighters were like spraying over the crowd right beside us. Uh, we were a bit too high, but you know I should have probably walked on and probably would have had less of the sunburn if I'd uh, if I'd done that. But <laughs> I was watching the the firefighters spray the water and like the pipe just exploded and you just had all this water flying over everywhere. People started obviously you know cheering and stuff, doing a little sarcastic cheer. But to be fair, the, the the people love the firefighters clapping them all the time when they're spraying water, you know, they're doing a brilliant job. But in that chaos, San Lorenzo scored the third goal. So I was, you know, looking down here because it's quite impossible to not, you know, be, uh, you know, focus on something when something's exploding right in front of you. So I was watching that and then I look up split second, ball crosses in, player puts it into the bottom corner and I was like, right, so everyone then goes nuts again. So you just had this mad scene of just like an exploding pipe and then the goal going in. Oh, it was insane. But yeah, uh, really, really good experience. Uh, I will be back to San Lorenzo. I've already been talking to people who say they can get me into La Popular, which is the, you know, the main stand that we talked about earlier. If I can get in there, honestly, that would be like a dream come true for me. So hopefully, if I get in there, everyone will be sweet with me filming a bit and making a video. Because in the end of the day, I just want to show what Argentinian football is like to the wider world. Because days like that and games like that are just what make it such an amazing culture of football that like you just don't see anywhere else in the world. So I'm going to end the video here because I've literally got another game to go to today. It's non-stop here in Buenos Aires. But as always, make sure to subscribe to the Partido. If you're not already a subscriber, this may be your first video and share these videos because we want to get them out to as many people as possible and well as we always say here nos vemos in the next video